Interesting new details tonight about what authorities say two fake doctors put patients through when they were performing liposuctions. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos tonight joining us with what the Department of Health report reveals. Maricela. Well, this report is 17 pages long, and in here it says one of the patients came back to a Roscoe Medical Center after she had complications and was told to use lime and sugar on a scar and to use a wooden board under her belt to flatten her stomach. If the allegations contained in this complaint are true, this is heinous. A new report from the Department of Health gives us a shocking look inside a Roscoe Medical Center and the treatment authorities say left some patients permanently disfigured. One patient claims Claudia Roscoe, who had no medical license, also didn't wear surgical gloves and offered tea to help control her pain. Several patients claimed they received medicine in a plastic bag just before surgery. Then these people should not only be shut down, they should be fined and perhaps imprisoned. Dr. Jay Wolfson, professor of public health, medicine and pharmacy, is reviewing the report tonight. I think anybody who knows about this, who has been a patient or who knows somebody who's been a patient, should be encouraged to go to the state attorney, to the sheriff, to the board of medicine and to the press. Police say Claudia Roscoe and Marlon Barcelo performed liposuctions without a license. In the documents, some patients say Orozco sent text messages telling them if someone calls to say another doctor performed their liposuction and fat transfer. According to the allegations in the complaint, there was never a physician present during the procedure. I did notice they changed their front doors before it used to list the procedures that were offered here. Orozco and Barcelo are charged with practicing medicine without a license and aggravated battery with great bodily harm. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.